Welcome back to another episode of Happy Go Lucky Beho Reviews. Today I'm super excited to find out that my favorite Sega game of all time, Fantasy Star Online for the Sega Dreamcast, will finally have a Fantasy Star Online 2 for the Xbox One exclusively. Released in March of 2020, I went to search for this game and was very, very surprised to see that it's free to play. Let me say that again. It's free. These are the best words in the whole dictionary, if you ask me. If you know me, I'm the guy who loves good deals. That's why sometimes you'll see my reviews of games past since I buy them at a discount. Of course, I will pretty much buy certain games at full price, like the Mass Effect series, Dragon Age series, uh, Street Fighter series, and of course, the Fantasy Star series. Big fan on the Dreamcast, Xbox, Xbox 360 and the PSP I played my fair share What is crazy is that this is an eight-year-old game and it shows made for the PC and then ported over to the Vita PS4 and Nintendo switch I downloaded the first North American launch game at a hefty 68 plus gigs so be ready to wait after I downloaded it I wasn't sure how long Sega took to port this over from the original PC. You can feel the PC controls trying to replicate it on a normal controller. The whole interface is messy as they do try to explain everything to you, but it just doesn't work. I played with a friend trying to get through the prologue to find out that you can't join with a friend in the story mode. Wait, what? That is something that needs to be fixed. I know that there's a story points and other characters and you need to be by yourself to make the campaign work. But let's just focus on the main words of Fantasy Star Online. Online. That is the, that is the main focus. It's in the title. After that grievance, we finally were able to form a party first and then create a quest from there. Remember those PC controls I talked about? Well, they're going to haunt you when you select anything from the menu screen. You push B to speak to someone and then A to select after that. And it goes back and forth and you would think B would be to cancel or A is to cancel, but it's just the start button. It's confusing. I don't care what you use, but one button should be for select and one button should be for, for canceling. That's the way it should be. Okay, enough with the interface. Once you start playing, the game does feel and is faster and plays more like an arcade version than any other Fantasy Star game I've played. Its combat is probably the best of the game where you can just demolish the enemy. You can string combos with ease and it feels more gratifying here than any other installment. You will have the same or more or less the same classes available for you from Hunter to Mechs. As a Hunter is just which I picked. I even can lift enemies into the air like Devil May Cry, but I can virtually swing the blade forever. It's almost like a cheat code. Being 8 years old, the graphics are great for its time period, but even given the Xbox One Enhanced Magic with its X Enhanced, it still feels a bit stale and old for current gen systems. The characters you create look great, but the non-playable characters look similar to Fantasy Star Universe, which I felt good at the time, but not polished enough today. With higher resolution, everything is super crisp, except for the movies, which are super obvious. But nothing else felt like it was added from the PC port. Textures feel old, and environments are simple and blocky. It's like raising the resolution of a 4K game of a Sega Saturn or PlayStation. I know that example is extreme on that last point, but I just love the series so much that I wanted it to succeed. After the initial bliss from the story and missions that you will play, the same problem from the series 
and that same feeling of dread starts to creep up in the repetitive nature the series really is. You will fight over and over in the same old dungeons, forests, spaceships, caves that we have done before. I know it's eight years old, but because the combat feels so fresh, there should be more added to this online game. I know I'm going to enjoy this game because I'm a super fan and I'm probably going to play the heck out of this game. But I can see others giving the game two hours and giving up because of the interface is frustrating and the great combat is very repetitive. But hey, you know what? The game is free. So that's a major plus there. So far there are only ads during the loading screens, but I'm not forced to buy anything major and progression right now feels fair. The Fantasy Star Online series has always been old school kind of game for grinders, but I never felt I could never be any part of this game. Overall, Sega and Microsoft made a great choice by baking the game free to play. It is not a new game that has reinvent reinvented the wheel. It is just that, an old game we never got to play. A bit of fan service from Sega, and for, thank you Sega for taking the plunge. You take the good and the bad, but I believe there is plenty good here with six episodes of free story and many missions that you can play with friends. If you're up to the repetitive nature and grind, of course. The game earns a solid 7.5 out of 10. And of course, this is a must-buy because you know what? It's free. That's it for me, and if you like what we do here, please like and subscribe. Be ho out and Greg, take us out of here. Excellent job. You are clear to return. Completed. Come on back. Damn.